YouTube, it's Alicia. It's Alicia. Welcome to week 26 in my pregnancy. I am 26 weeks and two days. So um, you're going to have to excuse the lighting and the thunder and lightning that's going on behind you. Um, we are getting a storm today. So the lighting's going to change and I can't do anything about it. And I'm also going to apologize for the huge mess behind me. Um, we have all of our Christmas gifts hidden in here, away from the kids, and we haven't wrapped any of them yet, so. And this is all my, um, baby boy clothes from Wyatt, so I'm really excited. I was going to tell you about that. I, um, didn't save a whole lot <laughs> from Wyatt and Zoe. I actually got rid of a lot, um, before getting pregnant, but I did keep basically, like, newborn up to six-month clothing from each child, from Zoe and Wyatt, in case we had another baby. So this is all of Wyatt's like baby clothes. So I'm so excited and I kept my diaper bag and a few blankets. And so it was so fun to like pull out all of his newborn clothes and to know that this new baby will be wearing them. And like we plan on taking, um, bringing the baby home in the same outfit that Wyatt wore and it's just I don't know it's like really exciting so um let's see symptoms this week um not sleeping at all sleeping has become really frustrating I cannot get comfortable at night and um he seems to move a lot at night so <laughs> that's hard but um yeah, just really uncomfortable. I get a lot of lower back pain at night. And so I've been sleeping with my pregnancy pillow and then with the pillow between my legs. And it's just like, oh, it's so frustrating. So um, still shortness of breath, um, body aches. Let's see. Um, I've been this week experiencing like extreme uh, body temperature differences like all of a sudden I'll get like a heat I'm like so hot and I feel like I'm going through like menopause like I don't know what it's like but I imagine it feels that way I start breaking out in a sweat and I can't cool down or I'm like freezing cold so um yeah that's been fun um what else um my skin is really clear and my hair is still acting crazy. It's like falling out. I I lose a lot of hair during pregnancy <laughs> and postpartum, and then it gets really, really thick and curly after. Um, let's see, I'm really like scatterbrained. Christmas is in two days, so my mind is there <laughs> and not on this video. Um, so I think that's it as far as symptoms. If I think of anything, I'm sure I'll pop in randomly with it. Um, and as far as cravings, oh, I've been so loving a blueberry lemonade. Um, yeah, it's so good. We don't have, I don't remember the brand. Why can't I think of the brand? Sim you know that brand Simply Orange? They make orange juice. They make Simply lemonade too and it's blueberry lemonade it is so good you guys have to try it so i've been obsessing over that i am also craving like ice cold water but i think it's because i'm sick i don't know if you can hear it but like my throat is really dry so i've been wanting like ice cold water so and um what else food has been hard for me i'm I get really full quickly and I just don't want anything, but that's kind of a trend. You guys know this whole pregnancy, like I'm really hungry, but nothing is sounding very good. Like I really wanted chicken Alfredo last night and I made dinner, I made it fresh and I took two bites and I was like, meh, <laughs> I was over it quickly. So yeah, 
Um, I've been meaning, a lot of you have been asking, but I've been meaning to do the name announcement because we do have a name. But I want to do a really cute video at the beach and I was going to do like this really cute thing, but the weather has been so crappy. So what would you prefer? Me just doing, throwing something together really quick? Or would you want the beach video? <laughs> and I think I'm going to have to do something at home because the forecast for the next like week is rain and yeah, no sun anytime soon. So, um, yeah, I really want to tell you guys like every time I talk about him, his name always comes out. So I think I'm, I'm just going to do something. I don't know. I don't know what, but. I'll figure it out. Um, let's see. And kind of uh, disappointing news, I guess I could tell you guys. I don't know how, I had all these high hopes for this nursery. Like I really wanted to do this really cool nursery or I'm gonna paint the walls and I'm gonna do this and all these crafts. And I'm just, uh, to be realistic, I don't know if that's gonna happen because Zach leaves in like a week or so and he's going to be gone for the next two and a half months and so it's just going to be me and the kids like I don't know anybody here so I'm going to have my hands full of my kids and I just don't see how I could find the time that I would like to have to put into this nursery but we'll see um and it really sucks to be shorthanded <laughs> I need Zach for a lot of things so um yeah and I don't have my family here either. I hear kids coming. So, anywho. Um, and my weight on my scale is 134. So I put on a total of 22 pounds. <laughs> this pregnancy, so I was like, oh my gosh. But um, it's about average on the high end. <laughs> high end of the average is where I'm at right now. But I'm telling you, at towards the end, a lot of my weight gain is water weight. Always. Never fails. You can see it in my face right now. My next appointment is next week. And hopefully I get to see... Can you hear the thunder? Hopefully I get to see the baby because I haven't seen him since 18 weeks. So it's going on 10 weeks since I've had an ultrasound. And I know a lot of people don't get ultrasounds and a lot of people disagree with them. But it's kind of reassuring for me. Um, so, anywho, I will show you the belly. And I should let you guys know, he is moving so much. And I am trying so hard to catch him on camera, but I can't do it. <laughs> Every time I, I start filming, he's done. But a cool thing last night is Wyatt finally like sat still and paid attention and felt his brother kick him. And he was like, ooh, <laughs> it was so cute. It's so funny. So now he kind of understands a little better. Zoe, no luck whatsoever. So um, I'm going to show you the belly and call it a video. Okay. So there's the side. Here, I'll take my sweater off. I can't like scoot back. So there is my 26 week belly. Pretty crazy. Still my line, it's there, but just not nearly as dark. Belly button's out. <laughs> totally out. Um, oh, be right back. I have to get something together. Okay, so I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Kirsty Head. And um, from, she's from the United Kingdom. And she was so sweet. She bought two things off my gift registry and I just received them and I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. And I just love everything, of course, <laughs> is on my gift registry and it was just so sweet of her 
to think of me. You know what I mean? It's it's hard to believe that um, you guys, for one, follow me and that you want to watch me, and then to somebody get to gift me and the new baby an item, and I just I just can't like wrap my head around it. So I just want to tell Kirsty. I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry. I, th I believe it's Kirsty. Um, a huge thank you and just how much I really appreciate it. So I want to show you guys what she bought me. Um, it was this blanket and the colors aren't coming off quite right, but it, it's definitely like a grayish blue, a tan and a white and it's like really soft material. And then she bought me these, um, snap front to sleep and play zero to three month, um, sleepers. So let me open the package to show you. I just, I don't know, it's so sweet, especially at this time. So let me show you these sleepers. And you guys know that this color blue is my favorite for my kids, especially for what and when Wyatt was a baby. So how cute. It's all wrinkled because I just pulled it out of the package, obviously, but it's a little like truck, gray and blue. And the colors aren't quite right, but, um, and then this one, and these are zero to three months. And um, Gerber clothing does run really small, so. And then this one, just a striped gray and blue. So thank you so much, Kirsty. I really appreciate it. And I hope you don't mind that I put your name out there. Um, but I just definitely wanted to give you um, a personal, I wish I can personally thank you, but as personal as I can on YouTube. Um, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.